I've had the pleasure to serve on a lot of carriers. I was most recently the executive officer on Harry S. Truman. Before that, I served on the conventional carriers Kitty Hawk and Constellation. But my first deployment and first carrier that I was ever on was the Theodore Roosevelt. I did that back as a junior officer for Desert Storm. This ship is so different from any other ship that I've ever been on. And, and that holds true for all of our sailors. You know, no matter how many aircraft carriers you've been on before, you've never been on a Ford class aircraft carrier. Everything we do is different. Uh, we've got a new reactor design. The way we launch and recover aircraft is different. The simple things as far as how we heat the water is different. We've gone to virtually an all electric ship. It's going to be more networked and more connected, if you will, uh, than any other ship. By moving the island to aft, we've really improved the, the layout of the flight deck. So when aircraft land, they'll be able to come back, uh, refuel, and rearm in, a, in kind of a pit stop type of a model, uh, really kind of modeled after NASCAR. You combine all that, and we've been able to reduce the manpower in this ship, the crew size, by about 600 people. Now, 600 folks is a lot, but when you figure 600 sailors over a 50 plus year life of the ship, and uh, also a design that has streamlined our maintenance requirements and, and more robustly designed equipment, uh, that's about a four to five billion dollar savings over the life of the ship and total operational costs. So there is a, uh, a high bill up front for this carrier without a doubt as a first of class, but it is designed from the outset to operate uh, more efficiently and to uh, have greater availability due to the uh, reduced maintenance requirements.